Welcome back today in our Sunday Spotlight. Some big news that broke yesterday afternoon. The boss won't be back in Connecticut, at least not quite yet. He had to postpone tonight's concert at Mohegan Sun. Live Nation's president for our region, Jim Koplick, has more on that and some of the other exciting acts that will be performing uh, this year, this summer, and at the Sound on Sound concert at the Hartford Healthcare Amphitheater in Bridgeport coming up this fall. Let's start with the boss, Jim. So disappointing for so many Springsteen fans, but we saw that cancellation last week. I think it was Columbus, right? And now... Uh, the cancellation here in Connecticut. Very disappointing for me also. My favorite live performer. Was so looking forward to it. Tonight would have been the first night I've seen him in seven years, which would have been fabulous. Uh, uh, but I got the news yesterday afternoon, as you said, uh, that he's still that they're still not feeling well. Somebody in the band, they don't want to say who it is. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, uh, hopefully he'll be ready for Tuesday in Albany because that's where I head next. <laughs> All right, yeah, I know a lot of people, uh, Connecticut fans, will be trying to get to that show uh, coming up on Tuesday. Uh, let's just talk about this cancellation. So we know um, th that there will be a Bruce Springsteen show at Mohegan. Do we know yet when it will be, when they will reschedule for? It looks to me like it will be in the fall sometime. Uh, he's pretty well got his schedule set up in uh, the rest of the summer, so I would think it would be sometime in the fall. We'll have an announcement sometime next week, the exact date. We're waiting to see whether he plays Albany or not. Hopefully he will. Then they'll just have to reschedule Columbus and uh, Mohegan Sun. Okay. Uh, what goes into this? Uh, you're, the, you're, you're the concert guy. You tell us all the, uh, the behind the scenes that takes place with all these things. When there's a cancellation like this, uh, obviously the fans are disappointed, but there must be a lot of logistical stuff beyond just having to reschedule it that goes into this. Can you take us through sort of in your career some of these uh, concerts that have been canceled? Because it happens, right? Yes, the first show that I actually had canceled was Yes back in uh, 1972 at Dillon Stadium in Hartford. And as I was making the announcement that the show was being actually postponed, it's really not canceled, it's really more postponed. show will happen. Um, lightning hit the pump house at the back of Dillon Stadium, and I got knocked on my feet, which t told me that God was telling me can cancellations and postponements are not a good thing. That's for sure. That, so, that's an uh, amazing story. It takes a lot of <laughs> Yeah, really, it was really something. I was happy to be standing in a puddle holding an electric microphone, so I've never been known as the brightest light in the, in the whole <laughs> bunch, so that proved it. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I've had lots of cancellations. I had a Billy Joel uh, postponement uh, at the Harvard Civic Center due to snow uh, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. It happens. Artists get sick. Uh, snow comes around. Uh, it could be a million different reasons that happens. We have to then contact all the radio stations, TV stations, newspapers, uh, certainly Mohegan Sun, they have to contact, I'm afraid, all the people that were staying in the hotel, planning to stay at the hotel, all the uh, fans that were going to the, ho the to the show, we're doing the same thing. Thank goodness social media makes it a little easier for us to get a hold of everybody, but nonetheless, I'm sure there'll be a number of people showing up tonight that will uh, expect to see the show. Yeah, it's uh, obviously disappointing. And, and I, I know you, we've heard of shows where people walk out on the stage with a full arena and say, hey, the show's not happening tonight. Uh, so that, that certainly is better. At least we had the heads up. And like you said, not canceled, just postponed. There's a lot of other stuff I want to talk about, though, uh, that's happening in, the, in your Live Nation world. Um, a couple of big concerts in June, James Taylor and Dave Matthews. Um, you know, James Taylor, a, a New England guy, and then Dave Matthews. Those shows have just been par part of the, 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 the fabric of our summers, right? He, he comes back every year. Yes, Dave will be uh, playing his 45th show at the Xfinity Theater on uh, June 10th, uh, which will be really amazing. Uh, he is the king of the outdoor world in Connecticut. Nobody's played even close to that many outdoor shows in Connecticut. We're so excited about James Hill playing the Harvard Healthcare Amphitheater in Bridgeport. Uh, a little secret, we are trying to bring a second show in sometime later in the summer, which hopefully we'll announce in the next few weeks. I'm working on that right now. Uh, and uh, uh, it looks like another great season in Connecticut for live concerts. Yeah, and uh, certainly that that Hartford Healthcare Amphitheater is such a, a a tight quarter, such a nice place to watch. And somebody like James Taylor, that's got to be spectacular to be in that intimate sort of feel, indoor, outdoor, uh, brand new venue, and to get to see James Taylor play there. I know a lot of people will want to check that out. Big country concert as well. I'm going to look down on my phone so I get the date right. July 15th, Jason Aldean uh, is bringing his tour to the Xfinity Theater. That's a big one for country fans. Yes, played uh, Xfinity a lot. Uh, usually sells it out. We expect that he'll sell out again this year. Uh, uh, Xfinity is uh, getting more and more shows as the season goes on. One of the many venues we book in Connecticut, uh, 
and we keep adding more. So uh, uh, getting, you know, what I consider great artists that are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, like James Taylor, Rod Stewart. We have Santana down in Bridgeport also. Uh, really makes it very, very special. And I don't want to, you know, it, we, we haven't even uh, gotten to summer yet, so I don't want to skip all the way to the fall, but you do have a big event coming up in the fall. Uh, tell us about Sound on Sound, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Alanis Morissette, John Mayer, some big names uh, going to be coming out, and that's going to be a, a big event this fall. Yes, very excited about Sound on Sound. Uh, 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 September 30, October 1, down at Seaside Park in Bridgeport. A couple of things that are great. First of all, the Red Hot Chili Peppers haven't played in Connecticut, Connecticut since 2000. Uh, they were in Xfinity back then, so it's been 23 years since they played Connecticut and always bringing John Mayer home to Bridgeport, and he grew up there. Uh, when we made him the offer, his actual first comment was, I played ball at Seaside Park. I'd love to play music there, too. So, I mean, there's nobody more homey than John, than John Mayer down in uh, Bridgeport, for sure. And Alanis Morissette, uh, you know, big 90s sensation, still on the radio, uh, another big headliner. And there's tons of other acts. Uh, I was looking at the, the website. There's so many other things you can see. Those are the big names, but there's going to be a lot of music during those two days. Yeah, we have 22 artists over the two days. Uh, Trey, Nathaniel Rateliff, Mount Joy. Uh, uh, it really is going to be a very special two days. And uh, it was very successful last year. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it being successful again this year. We got about 30 seconds left. Uh, we know it's going to be the fall now for Springsteen, just to kind of recap uh, illness. Uh, hopefully, uh, Albany will go forward this week if some Connecticut folks were heading up there, but we're still waiting for an announcement on that. And sometime this fall is when we, yeah, fingers crossed exactly. Sometime this fall, you expect, Jim? Yes, yes. I would hope it would be sometime in September. All right, sounds good. So Bruce Springsteen will be coming just not today. And when he comes, Jim and I will both be there because uh, we've been looking forward to it. We'll just have to look forward to it a little bit longer. Jim Coplick, the president of the Connecticut and upstate New York region for Live Nation, thank you for being with us here on CT23. Thanks, Eric. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And that